Hey everybody, sugar detox, the question of the day. There's so many sugar detoxes on the market. How do you detox from sugar? More importantly, how do you stay off sugar? That's the important part of the question. Those sugar detoxes out there that you see are all, let's be honest, crap. Most of them are just yo-yo diets in disguise. These are, they take you for 10 days. How many is there? 10 day, 15 day. Uh, 21 day, 28 day, and they even have a three day detox. It's ridiculous. All it is, is a setup for yo-yo dieting. It's just an extension of diet culture, gang. So look, I'm the real sugar-free man, sugaraddiction.com, sugardetox.com. I've been doing this for, I've been sugar-free for 32 years, raised a couple of sugar-free kids. And I also, um, have run sugardetox.com for over 12 years. This, my friends, is the real answer to how do you detox from sugar and make it a lifestyle, right? So how do you do it? At the beginning, we're all besieged with cravings. The cravings seem to just overwhelm us. It's like, if I tell you to quit steak or broccoli for a month, you know, I like steak, you like steak, whatever, but you do it, you, 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 you know, you just say, okay, no steak for a month. But when it comes to sugar, it seems like there's this uh, monster inside of us that just continues to crave the stuff. It's not like we sit up at night uh, thinking about the steak in the refrigerator or the broccoli in the refrigerator. But when we try and quit sugar, if there's sugar in the house, we start to think about it's in the cupboard, it's in the freezer, it's wherever. It's kind of ridiculous when you think about it, but you have to realize that sugar, unbeknownst to most of us, is a psychoactive drug that acts on your nucleus accumbens. It acts on your dopamine, serotonin, norepinephrine, even your endorphins and, and uh, you know those feel-good chemicals in your body that were meant to you know, literally um, make the species survive, find sex and find food, uh, have been hijacked, literally hijacked by a white powder, a substance that only recently has the science found that it's all about the brain chemicals. Everybody thinks it has something to do with the food. This is the first big mistake that you make. They all got some recipes or some diet or some this or some eat this, eat carnivore, eat vegetarian. Um, they all have some drink, some shake or do whatever, um, take some pill. All of these answers that they have for you to get off sugar. But in reality, all you have to do is eat whole food. I don't care if you're vegan or carnivore or anywhere in between. It just doesn't matter as long as you're eating whole food. What does matter is that you understand that since you were a child, probably since you were in the womb, you have been manually manipulating your feel-good chemicals. And at this stage, if you're old enough to watch this video, you are just fighting off sugar withdrawals. And anybody that's tried it, tried a detox, knows that those first five or 10 days, you're depressed, you've got lethargy, you've um, got this brain fog, got a headache probably, you don't wanna get out of bed, you're just blue all over and tired all the time. And it takes, I call it a scratch test, it takes about 30, 60 or 90 days, preferably 90. You know what a scratch test is, right? It's where you scratch your, arm for down, uh, pollen or ragweed or dust or something to shellfish to see if you're allergic to something. And what we have to do as a group, you have to do, we have to do, and we have to help you is we have to get you th through those first 30, 60 or 90 days. And if we can do that, then we end, you end up on the other side and you get to see the rewards of what sugar freedom. You're already losing weight, you're feeling better, you're less anxious, you're less depressed, your brain fog has cleared up. This is one of the most important benefits. So how do you actually do it? Well, in our world, you actually do it by support, by a support system, a group of people 
who are doing what you're, you want to do and moving in the same direction. You've probably heard the quote, um, you, you, turn, you, you become the average of the five people you hang around with the most. And likely you're going to be the only person in your family or in your friend group or in your workmates that is interested in this topic. You've obviously searched it on YouTube. You're, you know, you're looking for the answer to how to take sugar off the table, out of your life, and then sustain a reduced sugar or a sugar-free life moving forward. And you may have tried five or 10 times, but the reason you're not succeeding has very little to do with this, uh, what do I eat? What do I exercise thing? Okay, what you have to pay attention to are your feelings and emotions when you start to quit. And you have to substitute, I call it the emotional interruption technique. You literally do that. You snap your hands in front of your face. And when you are craving sugar and you say to yourself, what do I really need? Do you need a hug? Do you need to go for a walk? Are you hungry? Are you thirsty? What do you really need? Snap yourself out of those cravings, right? Reprogram yourself so that you are no longer um, uh, just blindly following the craving, right? Have you ever just had your car turn into 7-Eleven? You don't even know why. It could be because it's just full of all of the things that you need from ice creams to sodas and candies and chips. The reason is, is because literally, like I said, your, your whole system has been co-op for the cravings. And when I say co-op, if you're, if you're a marijuana addict or a cigarette addict, you, you are ingesting through your lungs and you get that feeling in your lungs. But the cravings for sugar, cravings are just fascinating to me. It's just like an entire whole body phenomenon because what your body is trying to do is trying to re-ingest so that the substance activates the dopamine receptors in your brain. It's not trying to um, get a sweet taste on your mouth. That's not what it's about. And it's not what you eat or satisfying your stomach. One of the things I tell people is that literally, if this has ever happened to you, the, the concept of your stomach growling or this ravenous need to eat literally goes away. It disappears. My stomach hasn't growled in 30 plus years, and it used to growl so loud you could hear it across a table. So gang, if this is something that you have interest in, I've left a link down below to our free book, it was a bestseller on Amazon three years ago. We brought it home so that we could give it away for free. If it's something you have interest in, this sugar detox, the name of the book is The Last Resort Sugar Detox. And it's going to be something that if you, it's free, just, just go download it and you can read it, check up on it, like and subscribe so we can keep these coming out. I'm going to have more often. And if you have questions, please put them down below and I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, my name is Mike. I'm the Sugar Free Man on all social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Um, and you can find us at sugaraddiction.com or sugardetox.com. Take care. We'll talk to you real, real soon. Bye-bye for now.